Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our Timberborn Update 2 Let's Play. We've got a pretty big uh, big city at this point. We have a grand total of a little over 300 beavers, well, 300 adults. About 350, 347, I think, exactly uh, total, including adults and children. But we have uh, now started expanding beyond our original three districts here. We have this one up here that is for the time being just uh logging and getting a little bit of a levee built so we can have our uh water go up just a little bit higher here actually we can go ahead and raise this let it start uh collecting even more water go ahead and put that at two and a half but uh yeah they are currently working on closing in this area right here to be a new reservoir we've got a small army of builders doing their thing working one little bit at a time i don't know how this is too far but this one isn't that's uh, a little strange well they're they're doing something over there so we might have to uh investigate Actually, this might just straight up be too far. <laughs> oh my, all right, we'll have to uh, figure that out at some point when we have the ability to get back to stuff because we've got plenty more to be worrying about, although I'm going to check back in a little bit and see if they actually can't get here. They probably actually can't. Uh, this district has a lot of people complaining about water. Or is that food? Yeah, that's food. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm old, and my eyes don't work very well. So, they're doing uh, they're doing okay. I mean, we got plenty of food. They're just kind of slow. Put put that back on. But the uh, the interesting thing now is we have theoretically the ability to get all the way up here in this episode, but uh, we don't have enough space coming out of our uh, our district center to get us up here. So we are going to have to build another another uh, district center up here and continue the push into the center of the map that way. Which, you know, I don't really have any qualms about doing because it's going to have to happen eventually. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, going to have to put another district over here. But instead of adding another district right here. I want to try and see how far we're able to uh, get our... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Lumberjack beavers to uh, come up here and get rid of some of these trees because if we can get a few more of these gotten uh, cut over here, I might be able to put the next district center on here and then actually build out from there over to this side of the map. So I'm going to see if we can get even one of these to operate up here. I think theoretically they should be able to get up here and do that. And these are all, uh, these are all marked, well, almost all marked. Is this complaining because now it's too far? Yeah, it's too far from the uh, district center by paths. I didn't want to. Uh, didn't want to have to do this, but I guess there's not really any other way to uh, avoid that. So we will be clicking the wrong thing 800 times in a row. We will be putting another district center up here. Except now it's. Uh, I really shouldn't uh, have let me do that because there's not a gate. There is not a gate connecting these here. Oh, I never actually, never actually connected this. All right, th didn't cost anything to build, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of that. Can I now click on this? I think, I think this is the last, the last tile. It's actually going to let me do that. Oh my, uh, no available workers in district, huh? I thought we had this all figured out. Okay, well, we have a uh, 
drought coming up anyway that just started. So let's actually go ahead and... Nope, not the explosives. Jeez, come on. Let's get that all taken care of. Yeah, we are in a really good place now with all of these. Regarding droughts, I am not worried in the slightest about our water security over here. Now that this is... Actually, these are ready to detonate, so we'll, we'll just do that because we can. And I think this whole area over here is good to go anyway. Yeah, so this will sustain our uh, area over here quite nicely. And these uh, water dumps should do the same over here. Are we getting rid of any more trees up here? No, because we don't have any workers. All we have to do is... Uh, I thought all we had to do was prioritize the workplace a little higher. I guess not. Why is that? We have... Okay, we have nine vacancies. Okay, what district is all of this stuff in? I don't think... If they are not... Not going to be building... I guess we can pause. These builder huts. Oh, hey, look at that. We have unemployed beavers now. You want to come up here and uh, cut some trees? I guess not. Even though it says this is... It says this is in this district. So how... How does that work? I wonder if I could get away with putting a couple of these down here. Uh, there's probably somebody in the comments already typing something up about how I'm doing it wrong. That's fine. We're, uh, we're here to have fun. So I'm going to try some strange things every once in a while. But I think, I think that should help us get a little bit more taken away. And of course, like I said, once all of these trees are gone, I am going to build another district center up here anyway. And then once this is built, I'm going to relocate it up to the top here. And all of that will be perfectly fine. Probably, is this going to be, three of these going to be tall enough to get, yeah, 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 I can just build over the top of this. Who cares? Well, I can't build over the top of the uh, source block, which is probably a good thing. But we'll let them uh, let them take care of that. This will be a project for another time once they're able to take care of that. So something else we need to do is power routing to additional districts. And that's going to be interesting because I had never really intended to have too much production occurring in the other districts just by virtue of not really needing it because this district is almost entirely mining and or not mining geez <laughs> farming and uh, food production i don't anticipate having to make goods here we just export wood in fact that's literally all we do is export wood So we'll add a couple, I guess I can just add two more routes of uh, exporting logs. So we, we really don't need production here. We have just a little bit here that seems to work fine. Um, this district will be going away as soon as we have this whole thing developed. Or at the very least, the district center will not be right here. Might end up moving it somewhere else. But right now these guys are just... Uh, well, actually, I think they're pretty much done with what they're trying to do. I guess I could could start building another bridge across this whole thing or start dynamiting even. You know, that's not a bad idea. Because so I think once this actually floods, I'm going to want this to have a uh, spillover effect anyway. You know, let's try that. Why not? Let's figure out the middle of this, because I want to have this, I guess, probably right here. I 
Guess I should probably have this perfectly lined up, huh? And you might be asking, why in the world are you spending so much time trying to make this perfectly line up? And the answer to that question is, uh, I don't have one. I just think it looks nice. <laughs> so it's really not a, uh, not a matter of why are you doing this, because I don't know. It's a matter of why can't I actually walk over here. It's a matter of it needs to be done, so I'm going to find some way to do it. So we'll blow that up. I think we can safely put over a bridge here. Although we don't have planks. Oh no, we do have planks. We're good. I always click the wrong thing for this. I think I can come up here. And find... What's the level of this going to be? That's going to be not high enough. I guess I should probably probably just build straight out from here, huh? Put that there. Put a couple of double height ones there. Put some stairs there. Connect it all with some paths. And pretty quickly they should be able to start cutting stuff down. Down. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all this. Don't need all of these paths anymore. In fact, we really don't even need the one on top. But we will uh, leave that alone for the time being. We'll go back to putting these guys here. And then we've got some exporting to do. And we're going to start exporting all of our logs. Well, more of the logs. I'll add another slot here. Hire two more. No, no. Okay. Because we're not going to need that many dudes working here. Of course, once this is actually built, we'll be able to come back for that. Um, Water-wise, we are uh, open a little low here. We only have 2.7 days left, but I am going to go ahead and let a little bit out of our strategic water reserve here. Put that back up. Is that going to be enough to get these pumps going again? It sure is. See, the idea here is we're going to have eventually each of these little uh, quadrants, sanctions, or sanctions, segments are going to have their own stuff to do. Now, why can't... I am not the most intelligent person on the face of the earth. If you uh, hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I'll chalk that one up to me being really stupid. Okay, someone even left a comment and I responded to it. And I said, don't worry, we're gonna fix we're gonna fix these paths. So this just didn't have paths connected to it. And that's why I couldn't build this. Man. <sighs> Wait, now this okay, hold on. Now this is saying the same thing. Is that because we're actually outside okay. So it, it does end here. So I'm not completely stupid. I'm just normal stupid. I wonder how much of this other bridge they can build, because if they can, if they can build a little bit of this, I might be able to put in, might be able to put in a gatherer flag to get these dandelions out. In fact, I sh probably should be able to, if they can actually finish. Uh, which I'm, I'm not sure they can. I won't, I won't know the range until this next one is finished. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That is something that just continues to distract me. But uh, what I was going to say is we have this entire top part of this mountain right here with which to build an industrial empire. So why would we want to worry about running power everywhere else 
when we can just do most of the manufacturing here. And the reason I say that and don't go for spreading stuff out is because, honestly, Haven Home, this district is, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty complete outside of decorating and putting in monuments and stuff, which we will do a little bit later in this episode. But I don't really see too much to add here. So I think if I were to build anything else that wasn't a decoration, it would probably just be some more houses. And I mean, there's not really that much else to take care of here. We have farming. We have a little bit of industrial stuff, but everything else is doing fine. This district is going to be the one where most of the production is going to be happening just by virtue of everything else being here. We have our metal mine. And we have... Why can't I hire another... Uh, Another beaver. Oh, no. That's that's why it says 9 out of 10. But uh, anyway, to that end, I want to be uh, demolishing some of these things because, you know, we have dynamite. Why not use it, right? So I've got to get... Got to get moving here on some explodey bits. And I have to demolish these trees, of course, because they're going to be in the way. But we're going to start clearing a lot of this and just expanding the crap out of this. And I know we're going to have to have another district uh, district center up here, especially because I moved this one to the top of the hill from down there. Eventually, we're going to run out of space and run out of ways to actually connect to stuff. And I didn't do myself any favors here, did I? I sure did not. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna clean house over here. Out of all this stuff. Get rid of that, and we're gonna dynamite the whole thing. Make it flat. And you might be saying to yourself, wow, that is a incredible waste of resources and time, and you'd probably be correct. But we're not here to be perfect. We're here to have a good time and play with all the different features in the game. And that's what we're doing. Have they finished this bridge yet? Looks like they have. I just have to mark these as cuttable trees. Which I should have done a long time ago. And didn't because, again, I make stupid decisions when it comes to this game. I can't get... Oh, I built something in the way. Okay, we, we don't have dynamite here. So we're going to import explosives. That is somehow called dynamite in other parts of the game, but not all of them. Um, yeah, 0.3 days to the drought is done. Looks like we are... Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're doing just fine. Fantastic, some would say. No available workers in district. Come on. All right. Well, I think we can pretty safely get rid of these. I hit shift and backspace. Okay. All right. All right, beaver boys. Get hired over here. There we go. I guess I don't need to mark these highest priority. I just want somebody to work there. It doesn't have to be a life or death thing. We gotta get these trees done. Anyway, drought's over. Um, the droughts are no longer posing a challenge, which I guess is to be expected in cycle 19 on a normal game difficulty mode. So maybe maybe next one we do, we'll have to bump it up to hard. You know, I want to do the uh, Iron Teeth at some point. Probably the next playthrough, whenever we get tired of this one. Don't know how much. Uh, more content I really want to do outside of exploring the entire tech tree. We do have golems to get to. Golems and not little weird things from Lord of the Rings. Um, we have all sorts of stuff we haven't done yet. We haven't done printing presses, haven't done libraries. We have all these science things we haven't even thought about doing yet, including the golems. And then there's stuff like religion and other fun stuff for beavers to do. All these decorations we haven't even sniffed yet. 
And I have a laborer monument in all three of my districts now that are actually, you know, doing something. Wow. Owen Wilson Beaver, I guess. But, um, yeah. We can start adding some other stuff. Flame of Progress. We have enough science points. I don't know why I haven't just unlocked all this already. Ooh, wind gauge. I didn't even think about something like that. That's kind of cool. I guess we could put that near the rest of these guys. I know it's completely pointless to have this, but I think it's fun. And we have we have benches and shrubs and all the different roofing tiles and stuff. So there's a lot to do and make the game a little bit more fun. We just have to uh, buckle down and get to it. But we finally have our dynamite here. Blow it all up, and I don't want to blow it up too deep, but once this fills up sufficiently, it will spill over into here, which is something that we've been wanting to happen for a while. No available workers in district, huh? Well, guess what? Now, I don't know what you guys could possibly be doing, because I got rid of all of this stuff, and there's only... Oh, did they die? Oh, they died of old age, and they just never... Never came back. Okay, well, that's... Sorry for being mean. I didn't know all of you had died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll go back to... No, 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 no. I, I, okay, I only want nine because we only have the one other other slot. That would explain why none of this was going spectacularly well. Wow, that is... That's kind of depressing, actually, that I didn't even notice that. Okay, we got two here. We got five here. Six, seven. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it with five for now. But we need people to be hauling this uh, mass of logs out of here. Because I want to detonate channels in these two. And they're getting to work here. This pretty soon will be spilling over again. Not that that matters, because we literally can't build any more of this until we get another uh, ways over here. But that'll be fine. We're not in a super big hurry. Anyway, we've been doing... Uh... What do you mean you can't get required materials? There's explosives everywhere in here. Uh, oh, we're exporting all of it. We need... We need... More explosives factories is what we need. We have so much paper. Yeah, we only have three explosives factories. We really could have more. Really could and should have more. I just kind of boxed myself in here and I don't have a... Why are none of these guys coming over here? I guess it uh, doesn't matter to them, huh? Food-wise, I think... Where did I... Okay. Food-wise, we have baked or grilled potatoes. I'm always going to call them baked potatoes. I, I guess there's not really anything that's super, super pressing to take care of over here. I, once again, forgot to lower the floodgate. I just, my bad. <laughs> I am uh, bad at whatever you call this. Is this really going to be too far from a district? Are you serious? I guess it is. Okay. Well, that's uh, certainly annoying. Okay, I have a, I have a stairs here. I know this is this is the most ugly, inefficient, uninspiring layout of a logistical nightmare imaginable. You can thank me later. So we'll uh, try and get them to do something else here. We have all this space over here that I think... I mean, I, I don't want it to just be more farming because 
Oh my god. Okay, we don't need any more potatoes. We have so many potatoes. We have an unfathomable amount of potatoes, like 5,800 in this district. I think we're going to be okay without any more potatoes. But uh, let's see. We've got sunflower seeds. That's good for nutrition. Um, dandelions, I think, were the thing that we were using for medicine. Yeah, dandelions. So we could actually... Ribbit. We could actually plant some dandelions over here. If we felt like it, which we just not dandelions. Why can't I... Why can't I plant these? Am I just... Am I just dumb? Or we only have to harvest these? My god, am I... Am I just losing my mind? Alright, I guess we can... I guess we can only gather these, so, uh, never mind. We will not be doing that. <laughs> I guess we can add... Well, maybe I can't add any more gatherer flags, as they're all kind of overgrown here. Huh, that is not a problem I anticipated to have to deal with. But I guess that makes sense. That is fine, I suppose. So, since we have some downtime while we're waiting for people to figure stuff out, and by people I mean myself, let's mess with some decorations here. I, we can probably just go ahead and unlock all of these because we have the points and there's no, there's really no need to save points. And let's see, I want to see, okay, I don't want that one. Two by three... I need a two by two. Because we're not going to build on top of these. So what these do is these just add aesthetics. Which are, uh, you know, all fine. We can add some more uh, housing over here. Uh, our food supply actually isn't as robust as I thought it was over here. So we can take a moment to improve that can't build over water here obviously and I think these farms over there are doing fine so we're just gonna go ahead and build on the uh, main path right here and just pop in I guess we have probably have enough wheat do some more uh, looking here we have not a ton of grilled potatoes. So I think we could probably stand to plant some more potatoes. Put some potatoes here. And we'll put some potatoes all the way over here. These should less get, yeah. And how are we looking on actual... Okay, we, we could actually stand to have some more some more beavers living here, but I didn't want to build before I made sure we at least did a little bit of expansion on our farming. And I mean, we're not strapped for food. We're not strapped for water. We should be okay. We just have to make sure we are staying ahead of any of our water supply issues. So we're actually kind of running into an issue with these pumps are running dry because they don't go deep enough. And I know the uh, Iron Teeth have a water pump that will go down to six tiles, but we are not playing them right now. So we have to deal with the uh, the two height tiles that we uh, are so used to here. Which, you know, is fine. Can't be uh, Can't be too irritated about that. I just really wish these guys could get over to here. We're just continually continually getting these trees done. I am going to pretty quickly, once they get down to here, get all of uh all this cleaned up and then put in another district center because we just we just can't wait. And this quite literally is one block away from being able to be built. 
Although I do wonder why it didn't care that I was going to put another district center here. Okay, see, now it cares. Oh, it's because I didn't have pass there. I believe we already went over this, and I am just dumb. So I guess we'll pop that one there. And we'll put a gate here. Then we will go ahead and put in our wrong area of the map to uh, click on. I don't know why I can't ever remember, but that's uh, that's just the way it goes, I suppose. We'll put a drop-off point here, and we are going to supply this district with some... You know, we're actually not going to supply it with water because I can just pump it out of the spiral. That'll be completely fine for them. But we will supply with, uh, they've got food. Well, they don't have a ton of food either. It's going to have to be grilled potatoes. We will put an import limit on those of, where are we right here? Grilled potatoes. We'll put an import limit of those on 25. We're only going to have a couple beavers here. And we're going to get them logging. I guess we should also also have some uh, some planks because we're going to need those to build platforms. And I should have clicked on this. Um, we're going to limit these to, let's say, 50. 50 planks. And I guess these guys don't really care that they can or they don't care about going between districts, which is probably much uh, better news for us. We'll put in all of these guys. Give them... Let's try eight. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, we'll get all this logged out. These are dandelions. We're not going to remove the dandelions because now we know they have a use. But we will build a uh, platform across this uh, this thing right here and then over here and then have these other beavers start building from this side and connect which of course is going to require clicking in the correct spot not like an idiot uh, we're gonna have to require putting in one of these I guess I could just put another levy there for cleanliness. It's not like it really matters. And we'll just have to join up with that. But that's going to take a little bit of time. We are going to export to... Is that going to be District 12? Yeah. Five of those guys. And we'll also put up a water pump. Because they're going to need to have something to drink. We'll just have them uh, build this first. They'll be okay without water for a little bit of time. And we'll put in a small tank for them not to die of thirst. See, aren't we, uh, aren't we helpful little beaver overlords? All right, my guy. You better get going. And get some logs. Cut your own logs. Build your own water pump. Hoist yourself by your own bootstraps. Usually not the best uh, motivational advice. But hey, in Beaver Game, it doesn't matter. Because now we have water. And that obviously will not work in a drought. But uh, I'm not worried about permanence of this at this exact moment. Nothing to do in range. Well, we'll get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. Yeah, see, now we have a little bit of water stored up. Got these trees pulled away. I guess we could probably... This is a really wide part of the uh, river here, but I think this is... It's going to be a stair step down anyway. We'll start at too high all the way across at too high and then just have a stairs have a stairs while well, I am really good 
at speaking English, if you haven't noticed. It's better than my Japanese or my German. We have uh, this right here. It should help us get all the way across over here. And then once that reaches, I think these lumberjack flags should should be able to uh, get across there. Now, why is it saying no available workers? Because we only have one, two, three... Okay, these guys can, uh, they can be finished with this. That really shouldn't be, it shouldn't be an issue, because we just have the one, we just have two, three, but we have, are they all dying? They can't, they can't all be dead. I put in, I put five of these guys over here. But they didn't, Okay, I don't I don't understand what happened here unless I just only put 5 which I doubt is the case. That's weird. Well, this should be not too long before we can get all the way across here, so I'm not particularly worried about it. Our main goal of course is to just get over here and get this going. But uh, like I was saying earlier, we need to expand this area and get rid of all of these uh, raised parts because we're trying to expand this and do all of our production here. And we have so much we haven't even begun to touch yet. That I still can't get anywhere. We have these golems, parts factories, biofuel, refineries. Like, Look at all this stuff we haven't even thought to start yet which is just super cool. And I uh, think, I think once we have some of this stuff more stable, we can probably get into that. Uh, I'm, I will save all the golem stuff for a future episode. It will not be this one, but we're going to dive into it. We're going to go reasonably hard, I would say, not super hardcore, but I do want to at least do something with it because it just seems like such a cool idea a cool technology uh, our metal we have basically infinite scrap metal because it's a mine which is you know perfectly fine now we just have all of these different science things that we haven't messed with so I don't, I don't really know what a observatory does but uh we have the point so why not why not unlock it by exploring the stars beavers gave more knowledge about the world they live in yes but what actual benefits for the game does this do is it like a boost to a stat or something we're gonna need to find a good spot for this so i'm tempted to say we can put observatory Way up on something like this, just because that would be a, oh, you know what? You know what? This might actually be a perfect spot for it. If we do something like that, we can actually have it be kind of, uh, kind of thematically relevant. Just pop that there and see what they're able to, uh, to get done with that, because I know we have planks, I know we have gears, and I know we have pine resin. But this requires power. And you might be asking yourself, why did you build this all the way over here if you don't have power? Well, we're going to build power, and it's going to go all the way over here. We just haven't gotten that far yet. So part of the fun of everything that we're doing here is that we get to solve problems in interesting ways, right? So we're going to build one of these doohickeys and bring power over the road. And I think we're going to want to go ahead and keep this elevated at least a little bit. Someone sent me an email. I wonder what that was about. Uh, we're going to put a straight one here and then I'm going to do a four-way intersection and then we're going to have I guess we should probably keep at least some of this 
above ground so we can have a easier access to places. That goes all the way down. I'm not building that. But I think I can just build across like this. We'll just have a complete mess of uh, of our uh, power here. I think I'm going to have to build around to the other side to get this to connect, which is fine. We'll just have this go like this. I think this is... Uh, actually, this can go away. I'm just going to place all of these things here. It's going to take them a long, long time to build this. We'll, we'll just make that a cross because we can. Um, you know what? We won't drop that down quite yet. We'll save that for this area down here. Yes, I know this is not a super efficient routing for power, but to be completely honest, I don't care. We are uh, we're just having fun. Like, it's just, it's not that serious. <laughs> it just, it really isn't. So we're going to just keep on going. And I will add a little uh, four-way here, just in case we ever want to do anything branching off of that in the future. It will already be there. I won't have to worry about adding something else to it. I was supposed to click that. Just pop that here. And then put in a corner. And complete that. And this, of course, will give our beaver buddies all sorts of stuff to do. We have these gear workshops here. Uh, going to... I guess I could have just built buildings this entire way that are using power, but... Eh. That's boring. We want something truly unnecessary. Right? Lumber mills. Uh, we have we have five of these. They're not all going, so I guess that doesn't matter. We just want to make sure we have Yeah, two of these paper mills. Yeah. So we're gonna be okay if we just kind of leave this here and have a path following the entire way down here. We'll be fine. There, I mean there's trees here. Just need to check our uh come on. Okay, so we're actually going to be fine if we have more of a this setup like so. Not going to be a problem. Just make sure these can all connect. We'll get this a little bit more demolished. I think once these are all built, this should be fully accessible in this district. I don't think we're going to have any problems. But it's going to take our beaver boys quite a while to get to that. Uh, we have 16 unemployed beavers. Well, I think we can safely turn... That's loud. We can turn all of these back on and put them to work. Building all this. It's going to take them a while to do that. So in the meantime, how are we doing on here? We're looking okay. Okay, so these are full... I guess we can add another export route or two or five for all of these logs. And we can continue our quest to build across here. We are eventually going to run out of time for this episode, but I did want to try and get as much of this kind of laid out as I could in this episode, because the next one is probably going to have to be more uh, building up of uh, infrastructure stuff. Because if, if we can get all of this accessible from different directions, we're going to be in very good shape. We're going to be in much better shape here. So I actually need to, since we're already here, put in our uh, little aqueduct thing right there. So this can all spill out earlier. And they're going to take their sweet time doing that, which is, you know, completely fine. 
They've already, wow, they've already gotten a lot more than I thought they would be able to get done. Done. That's even remotely correct English. Uh, they haven't planted a whole ton of dynamite here yet. Which, you know, is fine. They have, uh, they have other priorities. They don't always have to be doing something. Okay, we have three days until the next drought. I think we're going to end today's episode when we get to the drought, just because we started at the, uh, I guess, two-day mark before a drought. So we don't want to have too much happen here. But as far as uh, network supply, we're in about to be, I guess, it's not danger is not the right word. But we're about to be at the point where we need more, so that's part of why I wanted to get rid of this. We could just keep expanding all of these windmills. Yeah, see, this is cool because it tells you the wind strength. Not that there's really anything you can do with that information aside from just monitor it. But I guess that could give you a, a, a decent idea about how your electrical power is going to be working. Man, they are... They're going fast. They're doing the most. And of course this is this is done way before the power gets out here. That's okay. Um, we had earlier started putting in, and I'm disoriented, roofs on the top of this. And I think this looks cool. I like that, especially with the, uh, wow, the labor monument. Uh, we were going to put in, after we got some more food, and it looks like the food situation has improved markedly, we're going to put in some more uh, beaver housing. So, come on. I know I could be putting triples. I just like how these look when they're stacked, so I'm not going to be messing with that too much. But let's go ahead and put in a couple more of these guys. And I guess I could put, just because we can, I could do that. But I'm not going to because I will show you in a second what we're going to do. First I have to make sure we can uh, actually get beavers over here, so we'll, we'll do that. I'm gonna go into the decoration, and we have these little roofing things here. I wish there was one that was like a complete slant, but it seems there isn't. We have, uh, we have this guy we'll put here, and this guy we'll put here. And then, of course, we have a... Come on. I could do that, but I'll just end up doing these two-by-twos. So they look marginally better. But that should add a little bit of interest there. I wonder, is this going to be a really stupid idea? Okay, well, first of all, I can detonate these, which is fun. I like blowing stuff up. But now they can place these last couple and then our long national nightmare will finally be over. Um, oh, we can dynamite the rest of this out. Now that we have access to uh, well most of it. I guess we don't have to. No, they can get to uh I think it, I guess these these uh, four right here would be fine. I want to try and improve float just a little bit. Okay, we have half of these are done. I didn't want to block off this area necessarily, but I mean, we can always just have people come in from the side. Uh, we want to see how far. Oh, we have so much room. We have so much room. All right, let's go. We gotta get these uh, berry bushes out of here. I, I don't, I literally don't care about harvesting berries. They can all go away. We do not have a need for them. But once they get all these uh, things here, we can get this all blown up. See, I, I like this. This is this is a fun, uh, a little spillway thing. I just want them to get these all, uh, all done. How many unemployed beaver? Guess what? You get a job. You get a job. And you get a job. Start placing this uh, this dynamite because we only have one day left till the drought comes, and I 
don't want to get caught without... Oh. We may have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. We let this run a very long time without having more water. Which is going to be a problem. So we got to get things, uh, got to get things going here. We'll have some time to get this, uh, leveled a little bit. Come on, one more. Was that already there? Okay. Nobody's on the left side. Yeah, this isn't high enough to, uh, backflow in here yet, and I don't know that it ever will be. So we probably, probably should have detonated out one piece at a time first. And I think we definitely should have. Well, I will set the basics of this going. And we'll, uh, we'll get there when we can. Don't tell me this stupid tree is going to be in the way. Get out of here. Nobody asked for your opinion. Little tree dude. Alright, so this now can go all the way across here. How far out? Okay, so we could actually get all the way across and into the center of the spiral from this guy right here. Which is good because I wasn't about to uh wasn't about to get into that mess. So these guys now can cut trees. I wasn't expecting them to get over here that quickly. But I think we can uh, pretty safely assign... No? Okay, well. I guess I just did another dumb by... Uh, having this not set to the correct uh, priorities here. All right, drought started, which means it is going to be time for us to be done with this. But before we call it quits for today, I did want to make sure that I at least started getting this done. So we now have uh, the ability to get at least part of this done. Just go all the way across here. Put our stairs in. Put our pathway like so. And get them started. With any luck, in the next uh, short little while, they'll be able to, uh, able to take care of all that for us. We're not screwed because we uh, flooded the ever-loving crap out of this area. And I believe they're going to be pumping water out, and they already have. They've been very diligent, which we are thankful for. So it looks like stuff is going just fine. So they have started the drought. Uh, we don't really have 